Hello, and welcome to Salt Crystal Paint. My name is Brian Diaz, and I am a My Brother's Keeper Peer Advocate with LA County Light Ring. Today, I will be showing you how to create a fun and easy salt crystal painting from the comfort of your own home. In this program, you'll be able to create a salt crystal painting by applying watercolor paints and watching them run along the glue and salt to create a faux crystal effect. The result is simply amazing, just like this masterpiece. Before we continue, are you aware of LA County Library's online resources? Overdrive and Hoopla offer a variety of ebooks, movies, articles, and so much more. Simply go to LACountyLibrary.org and search under the Digital Library tab. Some of the books I recommend have exciting and fun science programs, such as Simple Science Projects by Kelly Halls or Science is Magic by Steve Mould. These are just two out of the many ebooks that are interesting and fun. More can be found at LACountyLibrary.org for free with an LA County Library card. Now, let's get started. The materials you'll need for this program will be cardstock or stacked pieces of paper, white liquid glue, salt, water paint or food coloring with water, paint brushes, tray or newspaper to protect tabletop, and the writing utensil. First, you will need cardstock. If you do not have any, you can make one by assembling three to five pieces of paper and gluing them together. Before we start making our salt crystal painting activity, Sketch any image you want to follow along with. Any drawing that comes to mind is fine. There is no right or wrong ways to do this. Now, keep in mind, when sketching this part out, keep a wide enough gap so that it will be easy to trace with the glue. Simple shapes are best, such as a leaf, tree, flower, or even an ocean wave. This is my sketch. I like to use this sketch to trace the image with the glue. Next, Take the glue and start tracing over the sketch. Try to follow along the line drawing so that it will look as clean as possible. Take the tray or newspaper and place it in front of you. Place the paper inside the tray or on top of the newspaper for easy cleanup. Once we finish tracing, let us grab our salt and sprinkle it on top of the glue. Be sure to add enough salt to cover the entire drawing. When done adding the salt, let it sit for about five to 10 minutes for the glue to absorb the salt and bond with it chemically to the point where it has hardened. The science behind this small experiment is quite simple. Our primary materials are salt and glue. Salt is hydroscopic, which means that it can absorb both liquid water and water vapor in the air. In other words, this little science experiment is a great example of something called absorption. We see the chemical action of absorption twice in this experiment, both when the salt absorbs the glue and when we add watercolor paint to the crystals later on. After 10 minutes, pick up the piece of paper and gently shake the paper to remove the excess salt. You can either save the excess salt for your next drawing, or if you're completely done, Done, simply dispose it in the trash bin. Now for the fun part. Grab a paintbrush and start adding paint to the drawing. Wow, that is awesome. From this point forward, it all depends on you. Add red here or yellow there, or even overlap various colors to create their own unique shade. Once you have finished adding paint and are satisfied with the result, be sure to let it dry for the whole day. Once it is dry, the salt crystals will harden and your masterpiece will be complete. How does it look? I'm sure you made an amazing salt crystal painting. We hope you have enjoyed salt crystal painting. Click the link in the description box for the upcoming programs and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for easy access to new videos. Bye for now.